All right, can we 3D print multicolored with any type of single extruder FDM 3D printer? Here in this video for the first time I will try to print multicolor with my Anycubic Cobra 2 Pro. Welcome to 3D Print and Paint Studio, where creativity meets technology. Discover the magic of 3D printing and bring your favorite characters to life. From stunning glow-in-the-dark designs to intricately painted masterpieces, every print tells a story. Whether it's epic busts, articulated dragons, or unique DIY creations, we push the limits of imagination and technology. Join us for time lapses, tutorials, and unforgettable 3D printing adventures. Don't miss out, subscribe now to the 3D Print and Paint Studio. So in this video we are going to use Ultimaker Kura plugin for multicolor printing. So first, let's design a simple object, which we are going to print in multicolor here I have opened Tinkercad which we can design simple objects. In Tinkercad, you can insert any file with SVG format, as you see we have a triangle, skull, and bat. For this video, we want to print the base in orange color, then the bat, and the frame will be in black, and the skull will be in red. The first and the most important point of this video is that since we know 3D printer will print layer by layer, each object should have different height, so we will set the base to 1 mm, triangle, and the bat would be 2 mm, skull will be 3 mm, and the biohazard symbol will be 4 mm. Let's align all the objects then we will merge and then extract the STL file. Let's import the extracted design in Ultimaker Kura. First let's slice how many layers we have and from which layer different objects will start to be built layer by layer. Here for this design, we have 39 layers. Then as we see layer 0 till 7 will be our base, we are going to use orange filament. Layer 7 till 21 will be the triangle the bat in black. Layer 21 to 30 will be the skull and the triangle frame in red filament and the last part will be layer 30 till 39 biohazard symbol in white. Now let's click extensions post-processing modified g-code add script and as we see we have a script pause at height, here we can choose pause at layer number or height, we are going to choose layer number so as we have to change the filament three times we need to add this plugin three times, then for each one of them we have to define the layer which we want to pause. Amount of retraction to be able to change the filament the amount of extrude to place the new filament and to empty the hot end. From the previous filament then we can activate the beep sound as soon as arrived to this layer, it will make a beep sound. So technically with this configuration which we have as soon as we arrive to defined layers it will move x-axis to 220 and y-axis to 220, it will retract 150 mm then it will pause we will place the new filament then extrude 120 mm and it will continue printing. We will continue the same process for all the layers which we want to change the filament. Let's slice and start printing. While the first try was unsuccessful unfortunately it arrived to 7th layer, which we defined it didn't stop and continued printing, 
so I had to try again and again, because some codes and plugins they are not compatible with all 3D printers, depends on firmware, which means maybe this code works on some brands or models of 3D printer and some others, no. After a lot of tries I found the compatible plugin configuration for my 3D printer, it stops as I have defined 30 seconds with retraction of 200 mm, then I place the new filament extrudes 160 mm and waits 30 seconds again before continuing the print. Congratulations here is the final result, if you have any question let me know in the comment.